So Marcelda, talk to us a little bit about the type of content that you've seen that really engages um, because there's a lot of noise out there, right? It's a lot of clutter. So what kind of content can business owners utilize that are more effective in growing their following and possibly leading to more sales? So the number one content that will actually grow your following on social media, doesn't matter what platform you're using, is definitely the educational. So what do I mean by this? Doesn't matter what products you're selling, what services, you have to create content, not just showcasing your products or who you are, but showcasing what actual problems your product or service are solving, what tips and tricks your products are you know, being used at, and try to provide as much educational videos around your target audience, like the you trying to embrace but especially also your niche right so let's say if you are a cybersecurity company you want to make sure you're creating content that is actually um, uh, specifically to your target audience, like what pain points the IT directors are facing, how they can have like an assessment, um, let's say for free, uh, without them spending a lot of money, how they can decide which company to go to. So you have to be very uh, specific in not only nurturing your audience, but growing your phone because they will find it valuable. So even if they might not be a target audience, they're actually learning something from you every week. So they'll hit that follow button and then you can use your other content to, to nurture them. So the second content, content pillar, like let's call it like that, because there's usually four strategies that we use overall, and then you can customize it to your niche and your target audience. The second one is we call it personality. So we know that um, most of the companies out there, their first thought is like, let me just showcase my products, my team, our logos, whatever, you know, in the business they're in. So let's say if you're a restaurant, usually they love to just showcase uh, their meals or their menu. But one thing they do lack or the mistake that I see is like, is all that, right? So they only post about themselves. So that won't actually make others follow you. Maybe someone that really is your loyal customer might actually follow you because they really go to a restaurant or they really love your services, maybe they're a current client, right? But the, the new audience that you're trying to attract, there's not already a customer is not going to follow you and potentially even find you. So what you want to do with that information is how do I take the trend star right now, which is the video, the short video format, if it's reels or TikTok or shorts, wherever that might be. How do I take that audience and combine with my personality, basically like the about us, the culture, like behind the scenes of the company and make something that people will relate to. So for example, um, one advice I gave to one of my customers, they had like a service that I'm not going to name what it is, um, but it was like boring, like nobody cares about it other than people, uh, they are really looking for that service, right? So what content can they post on social media that is about them and the personality or the company they will end up in a follow. So what we did is we ended up uh, coming up with some strategies of how they can record uh, a little bit five seconds videos of their team. And we made a trend that was, uh, problems that my teams are facing on a daily basis. So you showed them uh, with this trending sound that you know every person, this is their top problem they're facing. Now what the video did is like it was relatable with so many other people in that industry, right? So you're not doing it for your target audience, but you're doing it for your industries and people that relate to. A lot of people work remote or a lot of people work in an office. So those might be common problems that people might be sharing that video with other, uh, their teamworks or their coworkers, right? So you have to create uh, some type of trending videos about you that not only showcases you, but it's shareable and relatable with your audience. So this goes to probably content strategy three, and we call this, the, I call it the social proof, but it's kind of like, why you, right? So that's the question. So now you have to like always bring up like, why you? So if it's a case study, like you really help the customer go from A to Z, or you, if you're a coach, you help them grow their income by X amount of money, but how, right? So show some behind the scenes of why you. Uh, another way is let's say if you're in a construction company, always, always show those videos with before and after by using the trending sound. And that video will be so relatable because a lot of people, it's like logical for them to see that after, they need to see the after, even if they don't care to buy that, you know, service that you offer, right? 
So you're bringing like community that really are enjoying your videos and potentially that community will be an employee of that company that you have as a target audience, right? So even if you're in a B2B, they say like sometimes, well, I'm a B2B, I don't need to be on social media. It's so wrong because all your employees, all the people that work in your target audience companies, let's say it, where are they? What do they do during the day? They are in social media. They check Instagram, they'll check TikTok. So this is how you get found. So your decision maker at the end of the day might actually find your video on Instagram and be like, huh, I love what they do. I love what they post. Let me let me ask my boss to have a meeting with them and see what else they can do for our business. Because I love what the before and afters that I've seen, right? So keep that in mind when you're posting content on social media about that. And the fourth one, which has to be on your mind, uh, every content of uh, one, two, three that we talked about, so the educational, the personality, and the social proof, needs to be in a way that is nurturing the audience that when you're given that promotion, when you're given that, okay, this is what I do, this is what I offer, which is the promotional stage, they already have seen a little bit behind you. They know your culture, you've provided them great feedback and value information of, you know, what, what um, I guess the uh, problems your product or services solves. So now when you're giving them that offer, when you're telling them, okay, this is what I do, and maybe we're giving a discount or whatever, the 10% of your entire content will actually be better nurtured and turn into leads and clients than if you just do about me and promo, about me and promo, if that makes sense. It really makes perfect sense to me because um, I'm, I have a media background and I know the importance of stories storytelling is essentially what you're doing but you're doing it in a way visually uh, it's a combination you're, you're putting text in the post portion of the social post but you're also utilizing visual elements that are going to hopefully be attractive and stop the scroll for long enough for them to read the the words that are in the post as well and sometimes you can put like a few words on the actual post to help stop the scroll because that's what people are doing. I mean, the attention span of our generation these days is just so minuscule that um, it's really all about how you convey that message. And so that's where somebody like with your expertise really comes in handy because you can spend a lot of time and resources and money doing it, but are you doing it in a way that's actually working and engaging?